Hello, everybody. Welcome to Pace Studio on the Road. We're live right now with the Jerry Douglas Band at Dell Fest in Cumberland, Maryland. Jerry Douglas Band, thank you for joining us. Hey, you're yeah. welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, thank you for the main stage set. We just uh, we enjoyed it just about a couple hours ago, so that was uh, a total pleasure, and it's always great to see you, man. Thank you for your time. Thank it's you for bringing the music here today. Uh, Where else would you go on a day like this? Where do you... <laughs> You know, we're all in the bluegrass universe. We're here right now. Yeah, that's right. Everyone. That's right, man. It's been a tremendous weekend so far, and it's about to become more more tremendous. Man, what do you guys want to do first today? <laughs> we're we're gonna we're gonna play a little song called King Silky that was on uh, uh, Traveler, a record of mine, a little while back. So Mike Seal's gonna kick this one off the country western way. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Ow. 
Yeah. Man, so the uh, the collaborative nature of what you do. And last time last time we crossed paths was in a backyard in Nashville with uh, with John Hyatt. Um, and this time we're about to see you now. We're about to see you with Molly later on in the weekend, uh, right. Sunday. So can we talk a little bit about um, how this place specifically, how Del Fest sort of fosters that that cross pollination between different artists to be able to sit in with each other and maybe some of the specifically interesting um, collaborations that you've had fall into place because of this place some some of the things that that have happened here have I mean have happened by accident a like happy accident and some of them were you know there was one year when when uh, David Grisman was here and we, we he came out and we had a million people on stage I forget it was it was called it had a it had a meaning too there was all these people there was a I saw a, a poster that had us all in a boat and Dell was on the front of the boat pushing. He was George Washington on the front of the boat, and uh, you know he had a nice hat and everything. Crossing and uh, we were crossing the Delaware and uh, coming in. But all those people were on stage. And that was really funny. But uh, then you know, like today, Sam's going to be flying alone. He's, he has a something happened in his band. The band's not coming. Not coming. And Bale is all worried about the storm coming and re ruining his set. So we're going to all put these things, these thing, kind of things happen at Dell Fest. I mean, it's the time of the year. But, you know, who's not going to show up for Dell? You know, all yeah, these people yeah. are here to show up for Dell. People that, people that don't even know who Dell McCurry is are here because they've, they've heard about him. And then, you know, hopefully they don't just stop and see the blow up doll of Dell out there and stop and go, I ain't going in there. <laughs> but, but I, I hope they, <laughs> I hope they all come on in, you know, we, and we see the real Dell, the yeah. real magnificent <laughs> Dell McCurry. Yeah. And uh, I've had the good fortune to, you know, been around Dell for years now and produced some of his records and, and just genuinely love the guy. He's just that kind of guy. So this festival is all about him, you know, and he, but he throws it thinking it's all about us. So wonderful situation to be in. Yeah, it really is, man. We had our we, we dove straight into the deep end. Our very first session of the weekend was with Dell, and then we got to enjoy the main stage set. And that dude seems like he's having a very very good time. Oh just man, full of laughter, man. It's, <laughs> he it's good is. vibes he's all the way around. He's having a great time. Yeah, and God love him. He should be having a good time. Yeah. Yep. Indeed. Well, uh, I can feel the temperature rising after we turn that air conditioner off. We should maybe let's keep we should the, play uh, another yeah, song. Keep it moving. Yeah. What do you guys want to do second today? Uh, uh, we're going to do an Edgar Meyer composition. This is called "The Years Between," and this was on this was on a record that Edgar and uh, Russ Berenberg and I cut a long time ago, uh, called uh, "Skip Hop and Wobble." Uh, I was I was Skip. Uh, <laughs> Russ Russ was uh, 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 Hop, and Edgar was obviously wobble and but Edgar wrote this piece and we played it on the record and, and Christian Sotomayor does it's beautiful so and and Daniel we've got it we we love playing this song because this band has adapt you know this tune has adapted itself to this band I'll say that so here we go pretty song <laughs>
I feel as though. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, I need a second. <laughs> No. I feel like we just keep on rolling into the third. I'm just about to sweat through this uh, T-shirt, and I'm sweating yeah. all over the laptop right now. So yeah. I feel like yeah. uh, back into the AC. Of the what, are we, what are we going to do? Port and Goal. Oh, Port and Goal. Yeah. This is a song I, I wrote in, in Scotland. I do this series in Scotland called the Transatlantic Series. That's got everybody. I bring people from the United States and throw them in with people from Ireland and Scotland, England, and this is huge collaborations had. You know. Allison's been there. Allison Krause has been there. James Taylor. I brought T James Taylor over to do oh, it. Nice. Amos Lee. All these people. Then they collaborate with people over there, and they just go, "Wow!" You know, you know. So it's a it's a cool thing to do. And I wrote this song there because it's one of my favorite places to be. And it's got this really nice little.
Yes. Guys, well, you sound tremendous. Thank you for coming up here into the heat and hanging out under the tin Thank roof, you, man. man. It sounds that, great. That, that was that was soul cleansing for me. I, I, that was great for me to be able to hear these guys this way and to be able to play. Do people so, know we're in a press box above a dirt racetrack? I, they can see the dirt. They can see the racetrack in the back. Yes. They do not realize that the and roof the is tin and it's 105 degrees in here right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you great. know. <laughs> I guess that's our element then. <laughs> I guess where we play the best. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Guys, thanks, well, thank thanks, you folks. again so much for thanks doing for it. And we'll do see this. you in two days, Jerry, along with, uh, with Molly. With Molly and, not uh, knowing anything I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, right. well, that makes all of us, so uh, yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out together. <laughs> Thanks. All right, guys, That's see you awesome. next time. Thank you. That's that. We did it. All right. All right. Yeah.